Hello, my name is Bob Spoor. I'm the founder and director of Meducate Academy. Uh, we provide associate clinical educators to uh, the health profession. Mark is also an associate clinical educator, to, but today for the purposes of our demonstration, uh, he's going to be the patient and I'm going to be Bob. So thanks very much, Mark. Um, Mark, today what I'd like to do is a spinal examination on you. That's going to involve me looking at your spine, feeling your spine, palpating the spine, and getting you to do a few movements. I'll ask you to go on the couch at some point. I'll be doing what's called a straight leg raise to check for any sciatica. Do you have any problems with your spine before I start? No, thank okay. you. Okay, okay. Always, always confirm with the patient where the site of the pain is before you perform any examination. This is pretty important. Um, obviously it's important to clean your hands, I've already done that just prior to the filming and gained consent, you're happy for me to go ahead with this. Confirm the name of the patient obviously and their date of birth. So as I say Mark, uh, I'm going to do a spine examination on you today and in order for me to do that I need to be able to see your spine. So uh, would you, if, if it's okay, just be able to take your upper garment off please. Uh, do you need a, uh, a chaperone? No, that's okay. fine, thank you very much for offering. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at Mark. I'm looking at the general habitus of the body, whether he's comfortable and relaxed and he, he looks fine. Um, I'm just looking for any, any features on the body, such as asymmetry, which might be indicative of any scoliosis in the spine, uh, for example, a dipped shoulder or whatever, and that seems perfectly okay. Um, don't see any other scars, any swelling, no apparent wasting, no fasciculations of any kind. Can you just turn to the side for me, Mark? This is where the spine uh, inspection starts, really, uh, because I can now look at the, the normal low doses of the spine. I don't see any chi forces, uh, and Mark appears to be standing erect, and again, comfortable. Um, again, looking for swelling, wasting scars, and so on. If you just turn with your back towards me, now I can see the <coughs> spine in its entirety. I can see that Mark's spine is perfectly straight, it's symmetrical, there's no scoliosis, which is like an S curve in the spine. And I'm looking all the way from the cervical spine, all the way through the thoracic spine and into the lumbar spine. Uh, if I needed to check the sacrum, the lower part of the spine, I'd have to ask Mark to obviously take the shorts off. Um, obviously for the purpose of this examination, we don't need to do that. I'm happy with that. Again, no swelling, no wasting, and no scars. Mark, just one more time, turn the other side. I'm just confirming all my findings again by looking at uh, Mark's left-hand side, having already inspected from the right. But again, of course, I'm looking for any scars, any swelling, any wasting, any fasciculations, or any asymmetry. Okay, Mark, um, if you just face me for a moment. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna palpate your spine. That's gonna involve me pressing on your spine, okay? And I'm gonna press centrally down the spine with my thumb and then with my thumbs either side of the thumb. I'm going to go quite low down into your sacrum. Do you have any problems with that? No. Okay. Any, if you're uncomfortable at any point, please let me know because I won't be able to see your face. Turn around for me, Mark. <coughs> okay, if we can just put you at this angle. Good. Okay, so I'm going to start in the C-spine and I'm just gently pressing down each vertebra as I go, feeling each one. I'm feeling for any masses, any lumps, and, and any any asymmetry you can often feel it, it pulls off to one side as I get further down particularly towards the thoracic and the lumbar spine I'm going to start to use my thumb because I need to go in a little bit deeper with a bit more pressure okay Mark are you doing well there yep fine. yeah thank you and I work all the way down into the sacrum here no pen no I'm also now going to press paraspinally and this is for the muscles either side of the spine Again, with all palpation and muscul uh, musculoskeletal exams, you need quite a bit of pressure. Again, this depends on the habitus of the person that you're working on. Mark's relatively fit and uh, doesn't seem to have any physical problems with the spine. So I'm going quite a bit of pressure there. Any tension in the muscles either side of the spine with something like mechanical back pain would be highlighted by the muscles being in a state of tension one side or the other. And that feels okay to me. Okay, Mark, if you can just turn around in front of me. Okay, what I'm going to get you to do now is some movements. I'm going to ask you to go down to the floor and see how far you can get. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to touch your toes, essentially. So if you'd just like to carry on with that for me, in your own time, nice and slowly, 
I'm watching Mark as he goes down. Is there any sign of discomfort, any pain? Is I have that, um, reduced flexion. That's as far as I can go. That's, that's reduced flexion. Me. So Mark has some reduced flexion. He's just told me in his spine. And that's as far as you would normally go, yeah? yes? Yeah. Okay, so that's Mark's normal range. And that hasn't significantly changed at all. And now what I'd like you to do is lean back as far as you can. I'm going to stand behind the patient. I'm behind you just to support you. And flexion and extension seem pretty good, although somewhat limited on flexion. Okay. Now Mark, what I'd like you to do, okay, and stand in front of me, I'm going to ask you just to draw your arm down to the centre. Now, when you, let's do that again, because what you're doing there is leaning over it. What I'd like you to do is I actually just use the spine, slowly, get, that's exactly what you should do. Try not to move the upper body in a, a twisting motion. And I just watch that again because I missed it. Okay, good. And I'm looking to see that he's got equal lateral movement of the spine. And then finally, Mark, if you just sit yourself on there, please. And just fold your arms in front of you. And I'd like you to rotate your upper body to the left and right. Good. And again, I'm just looking for any asymmetry. And you appear to have more movement, ro rotational movement, on, on your right-hand side. Just do that again for me. Oh, no, no. It's okay. So if you're not sure, always confirm by asking the patient to do it again. Okay, Mark. So what I'm going to do next is uh, it's a technique called a straight leg raise. Okay, and this is to test for sciatic a trap nerve in your spine. You told me you don't have any of those pathologies, no. so you're happy for me to proceed. So if you just like to lie back for me. Okay. Normally with the straight leg raise, you would check one leg against another, and, and you should always do that. But for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm simply going to work on one leg. I'm just going to do the one leg. Okay. And what I'm going to do, Mark, I'm just going to lift your leg up and I'll just like you to let me take the weight of it, okay? Now, Mark doesn't have sciatica, he doesn't have any problems with, with the leg. So, I'll probably get quite a lot of flexion on this, okay? Yep. Happy then. So, what Mark's going to do for the purpose of the demonstration is we're going to assume you've got sciatica, Mark, okay? So, what would normally happen is I would start to lift the leg up like so, okay? And as I do so, I'll ask the patient, do you get any tension? Tell yes. me when it gets tense. No. No. So that's tension of the hamstring, okay? So I need to get rid of that because it's not going to give me a, a, a positive test when I check the, the stretch of the, the nerve in, in this particular technique. So that's the point of tension. Yes. So as I lower it back, tell me when the tension's gone. No. No. So now we know that there's no tension at all in the hamstring. So when I stretch the nerve and I do that, by dorsiflexing the foot, like so, that's the, pain I get. that's the pain, that brings on the symptoms. I'm sorry about that Mark, I had to do that in order to, to you know, correctly diagnose your condition. So that was a, a positive test, straight leg raise. Remember the key points of the straight leg raise, lift the leg to the point of tension, release the tension off before dorsiflexing the foot. Don't do it sharply, it's a gentle movement. We're trying to stretch the nerve that's caused the problem. Mark, I'd just like to thank you for this. If you just sit up. I'd also at this point like to do a complete neurovascular exam on you, which will may be may being involved in doing a lower leg neurological examination. I'd also like to form a DRE, a PR, to check uh, external uh, genitalia as well. And you'd be happy for me to proceed with that. It's really important whenever you're doing a spine exam to offer a PR at this point.